And the House of Representatives that don't pass for the second reading one bill for act to cancel the Quarantine Act 2004. And the bill where they sponsored by the Speaker Femi Kwajabi Amila for the floor of the House and during emergency plenary we make lawmakers debate for the need to take cancel the act and pass new bill where they expected to make provide and where they relate to quarantine prevention plus control for the spread of dangerous infectious disease and other related matters. The new bill could still empower the National Center for Disease Control and CDC to take perform their functions well and without any begay. Now what this bill seeks to do is to empower the NCDC in several areas, in matters of quarantine and the administration of public health and infectious diseases. The NCDC now is allowed to even do health surveillance, empowered to be proactive as opposed to reactive. What the NCDC can do now is once there's an outbreak, then they run there after the horse has bolted the stable. But now, this bill allows the NCDC to be proactive, to investigate, e.g. epidemiological investigations and surveillance pro propaganda um, programs. Mr. Speaker, I've also looked at issues that has empowered the NCDC in section 47 and other subsections of the law that makes it mandatory at a time where there's an outbreak in a particular area in Nigeria, the CDC will swim into action to be able to deal with the situation as it comes. I saw my senior colleague, Honorable Asai, making some references to the proposed you know, bill. I don't have a copy of it. And I asked a few of my colleagues who are around here whether they've seen a copy of it. Most of them said they haven't seen a copy of it. It is still possible that there are certain areas that some of us who are less experienced and less endowed can also pick up and make input into ensuring that the law we're going to pass from here will not be such that in another one or two years we'll have to come back again seeking an amendment of that bill.